Now an update on the Harris County deputy shot in the line of duty 24 hours ago. Sheriff Ed Gonzalez says that Deputy Brandon Barragon remains in the hospital and will soon have surgery for his hand wound. The sheriff says that doctors are hopeful that Deputy Barragon will be released in the next few days. Meanwhile, the focus is on the shooting suspect and his criminal past. We have learned that Moises Martinez was out on bond at the time of the shooting. Senior reporter Phil Archer live at the Harris County Jail downtown. Phil, this is stirring up a lot of controversy here tonight. It is indeed. Martinez is a violent career criminal who police say should never have been released after his last arrest. And he's just one of many offenders who've been put back on the street after being after paying low money or personal bonds and have gone on to reoffend to commit more violent crime. It's a problem that's become so acute in Harris County, the legislature is waiting at. When deputies cornered Moses Martinez at a Northside convenience store Tuesday, surveillance video shows he was well armed. In the ensuing shootout, he wounded Deputy Brandon Berrigan, and now police and victims advocates are asking why Martinez, a violent career criminal, was even on the street. Sadly, it's par for the course for what we're seeing in what I'm calling the Harris County bond pandemic. This is this is just a daily occurrence. Last October, Martinez was arrested and charged with robbing his mother and two counts of criminal mischief, all felonies. Because of his criminal history, which includes convictions for assault, burglary, theft, and firearm possession, the county prosecutor asked Martinez be held without bond. But that request was denied by Judge Amy Martin, who granted a low bond and allowed Martinez to go free after posting just $1,750. He soon violated the conditions of that bond and was declared a fugitive, armed, and on the street. Harris County Deputies Association President David Cuervas says violent career criminals who reoffend after being granted multiple felony bonds has become epidemic in Harris County. These rogue judges have made Harris County a sanctuary county for felons and criminals. They absolutely don't give a damn about anyone and any citizen in Harris County. It's a problem so acute the legislature is waiting in. State Senator Paul Bettencourt is crafting a bill to stop judges from stacking multiple felony bonds for violent offenders who are continually arrested and released. America is the land of second chances, but that doesn't mean you get a third, fourth, or fifth chance to then go out and do some serious offense like shoot a deputy sheriff or kill a citizen in Harris County. That has to be stopped. Other bills also expected to be uh, introduced in this session. This afternoon, Martinez was given a new much higher bond, over $50,000 for two counts of aggravated assault against a public servant and one count of felon in possession of a firearm. Reporting live downtown, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Phil.